Hi, I'm Dr. Gail, and I'm a starseed healer, and today I have another story to tell you, and this is for entertainment purposes only. But first, I have a few announcements. First off, thanks for all my new subscribers, and thanks to all my old subscribers. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I appreciate you all, and thanks for being here. Now, recently on the comments that y'all are sending me, there's a couple comments that I couldn't respond to back on. I'm not sure why um, YouTube wouldn't allow me to respond back on. So I'm going to do one little shout out to, um, I'm not sure how you pronounce your name, but it's Diane, D-I-A-N-N-E-Y. Um, thank you. I couldn't respond back to your comment, but I love your idea. She suggested that I do a children's book um, with my dog Moon and I flying through space. That's a great idea. I, I, I love that idea. And I have thought that uh, my, some of my stories would be a good children's book. So I love it. I love your idea. And thank you so much for it. Um, today, um, or this, yesterday, I was on Medium Kim. So check that out. This was the second interview with her that she was asking me questions. So do look at that. It was a good um, session with her. Um, it, actually, the questions came from the audience mainly. And so it was really good. So go check that out. And that was part two. That was the second one with Medium Kim. Also go look at the first one. It was really good. And um, next week I will be, um, have, actually it'll be another recorded um, video with Danny Shea, Bath Otero. I will be doing, um, we will re actually be recording this Thursday, but it'll show the next week and he's having an ET week. So everybody go check that out. So all these good things um, are happening and I'm getting to interview and spend time with a lot of different people. So this is great. So my story today, um, I did a group meditation with Medium Kim last week and she started us off going to the West Coast and looking at the ocean and sitting by the ocean and then going on to a spaceship. I'm going to be reading a little bit about what I wrote down about it. But, um, so it was a great session that we did in meditation and we took off in the spaceship. And what happened was my, um, well, the guy that taught me how to fly, Monto, he and his um, co-pilot, which is Ricardo, they came and kind of hijacked the whole meditation and took us to the star system, which the star was Solaris. And it was great that he took us there. He wanted me to finally see where he came from. And I didn't realize I had never seen his, where he came from. I've seen a lot of them, but I had never seen where Monto. And Monto was the one that taught me how to fly. And he took me out in space and he taught me all sorts of things in the very beginning. He was one of my first contacts of ETs that I actually worked with. Um, but when we arrived at the star, star Solaris, we went into a room. Actually, first we came to a mountain and then the mountain was kind of a bluish color. And then we went inside and we went up the steps to the room to the right. And it was called a energy healing room. And it was for healers. So it was the energy. Well, it's actually an, uh, an energy room for healers is what it was. And it's where people who go um, that are healers to re-energize themselves to go back out to work. And there was all sorts of different angels, Jesus, all, all sorts of people there. And there was even elephants, whales, and dolphins. They were all there receiving energy so they could go back out and heal. So we went in there. There was about, I think there was like, it was between six and 10 of us that went in there and we all faced it and we all went around and circled it and we got energized. We were just standing. We were going around this big rock that kind of energized and it was just light. And then all of a sudden after we were energized, we all did a about face. We turned around and exited. Now, the other fascinating part about this was the city that was to the left of it, if you're facing it to the left, um, was made out of gold and different shades of pink, different shades of gold and different shades of pink. And it was striations like you would see inside of a rock system. It was absolutely beautiful. And the city was all light and the beings were gold, gold color, they're cellophane looking, and which is 
what Mato and Ricardo look like. They are gold beings. They're like a cellophane -y color. They're about five, six thin and um, real pretty, real pretty um, coloring. And so that's what the city looked like also. It was pink and gold. It was beautiful. And I wish I was an artist because I would love to be able to draw this. And so that city, um, it took care of that energy room and that was their main focus was to take care of that. So anyway, the dolphins and the whales in there were sonar and they did the communication to that area and the elephants were the wisdom keepers. And so that's what the function of the people in that um, energy center, that's what they did. Anyway, it was a great, great journey and I was so glad to go there and find out where Mato lived and I just hadn't realized and well, at the time when I was meeting him, he was my first and I wasn't asking him as many questions. I was just still in awe, which I still am. I'm still in awe of anything I do. I'm still in awe of it. But anyway, that's my story today. I do thank y'all for watching. My name is Dr. Gail. I'm a starseed healer, and this is for entertainment purposes only. Thanks. Bye-bye.